Belgium driving to Brussels. It's a very flat land around here. Lots of green expanse. Here we are at the famous Chippies place where all the locals go for Belgian fries. Yum, yum, yum. Managed to find this place again by memory, which was pretty cool, since it's been over a year since we come here, and we've only been here once. The chippies are so darn good. They're so good. So good. This place, for our memory, is called Maison... Antoine. Antoine. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And it's quite popular with the locals, as you can see. You can have like shitload of toppings and all your stuff. You've got like you can see in the window toppings that you can have, sauces, dips. All those toppings there. Mm. Chippy, yummy. It is so good. Sauce, mayonnaise, chicken sauce. It's so good. Mm, so, so tasty. It's like the right crisp and the, the right mushiness in the middle. It's just perfect, absolutely perfect. Merci. Ooh. We've got our apple juice. I managed to order totally in French as well, and Karen decided not to record it. Uh, you can say what you said. Say it now. What did you say to him? No, no. Uh. The moment's gone now. The uh. moment's gone. <coughs> Alright, I'm going to eat. So. <laughs> 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 it's raining, it's pouring, but we're here at Renardi's, the world's finest chocolate. In Again, my opinion. by memory, we've managed to find this lovely place here. The best chocolate I've ever tasted. Ever, ever. Maison Renardi. Very nice. On this little street. A little quiet street called Rue de Dublin. Rue de Dublin, yes. Mine where you stay, there's a bit of dog poo there. And lots of doggies pooing on the street. Oh, doggy. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Into Mason. Oh, no, you go first. Okay. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, it's cold outside. It's wet outside more importantly. Ooh, look at that chocolate. Oh. Nice. It still looks so good. <laughs> Hello. So, we've come out 40 euros lighter, and how many grams of chocolates? Like um, five, 
about a kilo, about a, kilo. <laughs> a kilo of chocolates. It's over a kilo because it's, <laughs> it's uh, three euros eighty uh, on the ground. So it's not have, bad value. We have over a kilo of chocolate here. <laughs> and very damn good quality chocolates too. Very damn, damn good mm, quality mm, mm. chocolates. Very happy. Oh, well, we, we had some tasters yep. of some of the chocolates and I'm buzzing from that. I'm just like... <laughs> 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 Time to get some waffles. That's our next stop. Fresh Belgian waffles, yummy. All right, here we are in the main shopping street of Brussels. Yay, Nouveau Street. And look over there, a Belgian waffle place. A real Belgian waffle we'll place. We'll go further down. The one that was good was further down. But yes, this is where I spent exorbitant amounts of money on clothes on a whole new wardrobe yes, last year yes in, about a year ago in in shops like mango, mango. <laughs> actually that mango over there was where i got this coat was it, was it that one yeah, oh, yeah wow, cool. i just bought myself a couple of sweaters from mango my favorite store yay Waffle. Simply the best waffle you have ever tasted, ever in the world. Mm. And it's made just there, uh, fresh. Mine. Fresh, fresh. And it only costs one euro sixty, which is, yeah, which is around one eighty US dollars or one pound ten. So good. It's not even comparable to. Uh, Anywhere else in the world. Forget American waffles, forget Canadian waffles, Belgian waffles make the best. This waffles. is where it's at. Best waffles ever. Mm, yummy. Once again, Karen is getting another waffle because she's kind of hooked and addicted on these things. Another fresh waffle from a slightly different one. That's hot. <laughs> well, what do you expect? It's fresh. Better or worse? It's the same chain as well. It's this uh, Belga Fra. Probably the best since 1950. Don't know what was around before 1950. <laughs> <laughs> Probably none bagels. Who knows? So we're off to Aachen now. Hopefully, unless uh, Karen gets sidetracked by another shop. So here we go. Our adventures go on.